So my dragon's still there. It's hidden. That's why it's spooky. See, that's why we're playing spooky dragons. We get to, we get to play these hidden dragons. Oh, and suddenly there it is. It was hidden. That's pretty sweet. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> just level up your cluster just like that. Draw six, draw three. That was awesome. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky dragons. Gonna be our last deck today on this fun casual Friday, we are going to be playing a dragon deck with some of these new Shadow Isles dragons like Crawling Viper Worm, Camivoran Dragon, and even Kadragrin. Kadragrin just looks really cool because of the new Kadragrin. So we haven't really played new Kadragrin too much. So let's do that, that here. Six mana, six, six with Fury. Whenever we play it, we can gr grant an allied champion or a dragon challenger. Doesn't really work that well with the Screeching Dragon that already has challenger. But we can give Shivana or Camivoran Dragon or Callista or the Crawling Viper Worm, give any of those a uh, challenger or whatever dragons the Egghead Researcher creates. Uh, we're going to just have the Spectral Matron Scythria combo at the top end because this combo is just ridiculously powerful. So we're going to have these two cards at the top end to help us out um, while well, we're kind of curving out, going up the chain. Dragon Guard Lieutenants are going to be a good way to fight like Sivers and Zeds and you know just all, all sorts of things that you know be able to have like the Challenger. That should be pretty nice. Um, of course, our Dragon Chows will be doing their thing. One copy of Dragon Guard that if it's out here and we get to kill uh, some stuff with our dragons, they get an additional plus one plus one. That could be pretty nice. But it's just also a three mana two four, so kind of you know below the curve with all that. But um, you know, that's a cool ability, so we're going to have one of those out there. For spells, we got a couple of Stalking Shadows for card advantage. We got um, some removal with Single Combat and Concerned Strike, and then we have some protection with Prismatic Barrier and Sharp Sight. I really think Prismatic Barrier is underrated, the three mana for the barrier. I like that more than Repost in this kind of deck, because I think the three mana is going to be a big upgrade over the four. And with these big dragons, usually we're probably going to be using this barrier on like Callista or Shivana. With these big dragons, you don't really need the plus three, plus zero. So I just want the, the three mana save my stuff. All right, let's give it a try. Let's let's go on over to ranked. Let's play five games with spooky dragons. All right, action sivir. So the barriers are good at, against action sivir. Good blockers, good for blocking. And also, oh man, I want to keep Spectral Matron Scythria. Oh, but we, we could definitely be dead by round eight. But you know what? I'm keeping him. I guess I can't even do it till round nine. It's just like this, like, we'll win game, you know, win the game. So hopefully we can... Hopefully the rest of our uh, deck will keep us alive long enough. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Deal three to the Nexus to play this thing? Villains beware. Mm. Wait, what? You'll soon understand my methods. Okay, it's still here. Okay. That is a bug right there. All right. Well, like I said, we could we could die if by you know by keeping this stuff. This way, I was hoping they didn't have this good of an opening hand, but unfortunately they did. So my dragon's still there. It's hidden. That's why it's spooky. See, that's why we're playing spooky dragons. We get to, we get to play these hidden dragons. For two. In and out. Oh, and suddenly there it is. It was hidden. What's up, Talazu? Yeah, Casual Friday is still going strong. Braum did awesome. We only lost to another Howling Abyss deck. And that's... <laughs> yesterday with the 
action Howling Abyss, and then today, with this Howling Abyss deck, the only one time I played Howling Abyss both days, we lost. We immediately lost to another Howling Abyss deck. I am more than I seem. I am watching you, dragon. Art is gonna make a meal of them. So you can use a, a pump spell and you know block and kill Shivana, but okay. Quick hands make quick work. So eight out of twelve for leveling up Shivana. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. But really aggressive start for them, right? They had one drop into two mana champion into two drop plus one drop. Those are the first three rounds, then they had the barrier round four. And then round five, you know. Villains beware. This right here. I'll show you how it's done. So with everything being lethal, I do not have the ability to protect Shivana too much. Yes, I want. We just have to hope we stay alive. They only have three cards. It's possible. We laugh at them. But not very likely. Yep, super aggressive hand of GG's opponent. Super aggressive hand. Hopefully this time we can play something before a round three unit that does nexus you know does three damage to my own nexus. Alright, there we go. We actually have some earlier stuff. That's good, that's good. Okay, this hand looks pretty good actually, because I want to keep the screeching dragon to go along with the lieutenant. And yeah, I think we can just kinda of keep all of it. Try to take out this Crackshot Corsair. And even though they can parlay, it's still definitely worth it. Good, not a parlay. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I never miss. Ready? Aim? Hmm. I feel like Crackshot Corsair was like their best thing in play. I mean, maybe the Merchant, but Crackshot Corsair. Another day guarding the walls. I am definitely killing this monkey idol, not going to let them get these powder monkeys. Powder monkeys are really powerful. Ooh, Shivana. Alright, so Shivana's a 4-5 if I play it. But Screeching Dragon's a 5-6. I guess I pro I'll probably have to play the Screeching Dragon with the game plank right there. Keep up, old man. Things are different in the field. Alright, doing this before combat to level up Callista. So I believe Callista will just put in the 3 1. Wow, attacking. Oh, 
Oh, we had. Never mind. We had a lieutenant already die. Right, right. Never mind. I said three one anyway. I meant egghead research. I meant one three. Make it worth my while. Should be mega rain. Oh, monster harpoon. Okay. Alright, where are we at? Three out of five. Good, good. Bad Cannot level those no things one. up this round. I can single combat my dragon and the gangplank, but if I do that, and then that will enable the black spear, but if I do that... Wow. Let's say if I do that, then they just have the Sejuani challenge. Well, that worked out really well. I found a home among the dragon god. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. <laughs> Spectral Matron. Uh, that's okay. It's only four out of five. All right, all right. Only four or five. Should be leveled up, Shivana. Wow. The double monster harpoon. Okay. Fair enough. Keeps him alive. Oh, no, 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 I need to play this black spear right now. Oh, wait, I could have played the black Yes, I could. Oh, I need to play that right now. Yo, this is not fair. This is not fair. Yes, I had, I had a black spear before the image, before that Calista turned back. All good. Whoa. All right, we got a Masters player with Viego. Viego Nasus. Mm. Yeah. Just got to send them all back. I don't know why we, we can't get our early cards much at all. We did, we did the second game. That second game we had, you know, some early stuff. <laughs> this this hand looks pretty silly. There's not a card that does anything in this entire hand right now. Well, I shall pass. Could play the Dragon Chow, but I'm gonna just save three mana for the barrier for the Callista instead. I must be known. Yeah, I think my opponents played this deck quite a bit. <laughs> That's a rank five. Man, I don't even have a dragon in here. For Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Gonna find a gift for an exit, right, Arda? Opponent's hand looks a little bit better than mine. Not gonna lie. A little bit better. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. We were forged in dragon fire. I cannot 
This is just not as valuable being all vulnerable and stuff. I didn't want to single combat right there and they... I don't know, I should be playing the Dragon Chow. I didn't want them to single combat right there and then they... Um, vile Feast and... Stuff like that, but, you know, they could have potentially saved some life with that. Oh, I am always here when you need me. All right, so it looks like they got glimpse beyond, unfortunately. Uh, or that, that's even worse. That grows Viego. Because now... Now I just trade with Viego. Hopefully that's Nasus, not Viego. Nasus, I can just block barrier. Which I guess technically I can still do that, Was just block barrier. Your disloyalty? needed a, a cheap dragon, something that cost five or less. You know, four or less would have been the best. Didn't need a seven mana dragon. It's going to be tough to win this game, but it's not over yet. Gently, gently. <laughs> not over yet. If we make this dragon chow... Good play playing that, so then round end and they get the encroaching miss. We stand oh, they just have an asses also. Long you so we make the dragon child like an 06. I don't know what they would play before combat, but. Viego. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, six power on round two, then Merciless Hunter, then Merciless Hunter, then Viego, then Viego. Alright, we're gonna keep the Dragon Chow, look for a cheaper dragon. Cool, cool. So what if... Alright, so my thinking here is like, what if we play Callista? Now, this next round, I can play the Viper Worm and like kill all these things, right? That's pretty sweet. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> just level up your Callista just like that. Draw six, draw three. That was awesome. <laughs> now we're only going to be putting a Dragon Chow in play. We were forged in dragon fire. 
Oh. All right, got punished. Should have just attacked. Well, that's all right. Now I have that 3-2 dead, so now the Callista will be putting in the 3-2. Gotta imagine, yeah, like they're gonna be frostbiting. Like that's why I didn't single combat either, because they're gonna be frostbiting. So I already know they're gonna be doing that. We will get the additional plus one plus one counter thanks to this ruined dragon guard. Good game. That was fast. That was really cool. I don't think I'll ever see that again. And Lee Sin action. This deck's really hard to defeat. I don't know if I ever really defeat this deck. This deck's really difficult to, to beat. Okay, well... Hopefully we get another dragon before Kadrigan. It's hard to mulligan Callista. Mm. Wow. Not a good hand. Not a good hand. <laughs> Yep. Punished for playing that. Yep, now I don't have Prismatic Barrier. Shivana! Oh, Sharp Sight. Shivana would have been nice. Swipe it off! Keep dragging. I'll have a breakthrough. We're just one Force mana. Is meaningless without skill. A pleasure huh. to see you, Master. From just kind of everything. So obviously, I'm not going to be beating Lee Sin. Like it, nobody really defeats Lee Sin. So this game is over. Our enemies cannot Sonic Wave is a great card. That's a really, really good card. That's the opponent's drawn here. Alright, so finish with a 2 and 3. Why not open an attack with Callista? Because I didn't want Twin Disciplines to, like, Twin Disciplines on the, or, like, they, they play all those kind of spells, like, I didn't want that to kill my Callista. If I knew they were going to be playing Lisa in that round, then, yeah, you know, I would have just done it. But yeah, that, those kind of cards, the Shape Stone, all that. Dragon's 
we're just playing, we're just kind of going through the motions here to finish out the game, but this one is uh, pretty obviously 100% over. Breathe in, breathe out. Conflict is all in the mind. This is what you call a perfect lease in hand. You have lease in at five. You got all the spells. You got deep meditation to draw more spells. It does not get any better than that. Enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. On the other side, if you look at our hand, this is what we call the the worst possible anti lease in hand. <laughs> Alright, just you're not gonna just play units into lease in. So, you know, that's how that's how it goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. To learn in you seem like you've got a lot to learn. My land, center your spirit. Oh, they might. I have the scars to prove it. If we had Scythria, maybe. But still, probably not, but maybe. Conflict is all in the mind. All right, so we only went two and three, but our deck felt okay. You know, like it, it does kind of what it does, right? Like it can control the board and it attacks and blocks pretty well. Um, it doesn't, you know, we don't have very much removal. Got a little bit, but not like a lot. So like if our opponents are playing something like that, like the Lee Sin, to be honest, I don't know a single deck that would have won against that Lee Sin hand. Honestly, that's just, that's just Lee Sin. That's why Lee Sin is, um, you know, if not the best champion in the game, the second best. Like if it's, if it's, it's like Sivir, Lee Sin, and like maybe Viego, those are the top ones. But when you, when you have a hand like that with Lee Sin, not, nothing beats that. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, um, it's a, it's a fun card. It's a fun card. The uh, we did have that that really really cool round f or game four though. Triple Dragon Chow, Viper Warren, Level Up Callista. That was really cool. I have to say that was that was very enjoyable. We just didn't get to Shivana very much. Shivana was awesome when we had it, but Shivana was definitely the the most important champion um, that we had, and unfortunately we didn't get to Shivana very much. But that's just how it's going to be. All right, so there we go. There's some spooky dragons with the new Kadra Grin. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments as well. And let me know, um, you know, let me know how you liked it. If you got other ideas for Kadra Grin the Ruined, if you got a Kadra Grin the Ruined deck, leave it in the comment section and let me know. I, I would love to hear, like, what you're doing with this card to showcase Kadra Grin the Ruined. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.